Hi guys, what's up? It's your girl, Lasky Mommy. We're back with another motherfucking video. So, I gotta ask the question. As you can tell by the title, though, before we even get into it, as we should, as you can tell by the title, this is another episode of the Laura Michaela series and Friends. Um, I got some news at the end of this video, though. Stay tuned. Anyway, so I just got a, a comment asking me a question. They told me to react to the latest video that's on their channel. And that's what we're going to do. Even though I literally just watched it earlier. When it popped out and it was like two hours. It said something about two hours ago being posted there. So, oh, I'm smacking it hella hard with this gun. Let me... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I did with the rapper, but. Anyways. So we're gonna react to that. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all my reaction to it. Because I've been peeping the comments, because y'all already know I don't like when they really talk, regardless. Because, like, when she talks, it's mad boring. Because she's repeat herself, and I don't like when people repeat themselves and repeat themselves and repeat themselves. Like, we didn't get what you said the first time type thing. Mm, get it together. You know what I mean? Okay, so it's not the latest video. But we are going to react to the latest video after I explain. Because they got two more videos they uploaded after that. Because they got caught in their own shit. So. Um, the video is called Norelli Calls Michaela and Invites Her Over. It was uploaded five hours ago, but when I watched it, it was uploaded two hours ago. So, um, we already watched it. It's 52 minutes long and 35 seconds, so I'm not going to react to it because that's going to be mad long, you feel me? That's damn near almost an hour. Um, but I'm going to let y'all know. Actually, while, while I'm talking about it, we're going to read the comments. That's what we're going to do. Because I'm going to let y'all know what it is. So in this video, in the beginning of the video, um, Norelli, uh, she gets on camera, Laura is currently at the gym at this point in time, and then, you know, Michaela's doing her thing. So, she gets on camera, like, explaining her part, basically saying how everybody keep coming and attacking her, but they really don't know what's going on behind closed doors. And she's tired of how Michaela keeps playing victim and how Michaela keeps inserting herself in something that doesn't uh, have anything to do with her. And that she keeps thinking that, you know, Laura wants her, but she doesn't want her. That's all the stuff that Norelli was saying in the beginning of the video. So then she gets into it and says, rude. She gets into it and then she's like, so guess what we doing today, guys? She was like, we are going to call Michaela. I got her number out of Laura's phone. And at first I thought she was talking about she had Laura's phone with her. Because that's what it sounded like she said. But when, like, she called um, Michaela, you know what? We're going to get to that part. But... She said she was going to call Michaela to come over there so she can apologize and they can actually have a civil conversation and, you know, finally put bygones to be bygones type of thing. And they can, you know, they ain't got to be friends, but they ain't got to be beefing either. And so that's what she said she was going to play it off as. But when Michaela got there, it was going to be basically her telling her, like, yo, you need to back off and you need to quit what you're doing. Uh, Laura doesn't want you. I've been saying this from the get-go, but Laura doesn't want you. She's here with me. And she's my girl type of thing. And so you already know how Michaela going to react. Because Michaela clearly said on her vi uh, her one video, she was like, mm, I'm not going to stop unless Laura tells me, leave me alone. Don't talk to me anymore. That it type of thing. But she, she did say leave her alone. So, until Laura tell Michaela, hey, leave me alone, I don't want nothing else to do with you, she said she was going to keep going. And Laura has yet to say that on camera, 
for one, but to Michaela, obviously, because they got business stuff going on. So they always going to be somewhat involved with each other um, because they had business stuff going on while they was in a relationship and they had joint accounts as in when they was in a relationship. And they still had those joint accounts out of the relationship and they still had those businesses going on out of the relationship. So they still got business to handle, you feel me? That shit don't, business don't stop, you feel me? It just don't stop. If that's stopping, if you're stopping your business, that's stopping that, you feel me? Anyways, so in this video, uh, in the comment section, we're gonna read these real quick, a couple of them, cause you know they comments be mad long. 4.8K, yeah, I'm not reading all that shit. Cause a lot of it you already know is a lot of repeats. So then after we get done reading this, we're gonna read, we're gonna watch the latest video. Cause I don't want to make this video mad long. So, um, she's so in, so this, this got pinned by Laura and Michaela. She's so insecure that she swears Michaela looking for a car is coming in between her and Laura. This comment got pinned by the actual channel, which you can kind of guess it was probably Michaela that pinned it, but still. So then uh, the next one say, Norelli, you literally, like, she wants to be petty. And then in every video, you're like, I'm petty for fun. That's a hypocrite. You're the only one press, my girl. Funny thing is, Laura says she want a wife. And look at, she want a wife. Look how she acting. That ain't wife material. This shows how big of a person Michaela is. She really the bigger person in all this. She knows Laura ain't fully committed, bro. That's why she trying to scare Michaela away. If she didn't want Michaela around, then she, quote, wouldn't have me around, end quote. Okay, so pause. Let me get into the video now. So in the video, um, she finally, cause you know Michaela ain't stupid. So she was like, uh, -uh it's, it's kind of seems sketch because you calling me asking me can I come over for a conversation when we had multiple times we tried to have a conversation and you weren't trying to have a conversation so she was like no like she really was playing the role like literally lunatic type of role no like I really do want you to come over I really want us to talk and then every time she was talking on the phone she'd be like rolling her eyes if she said some you know sincere or like if she said some like I was in the wrong, she'll start laughing, like, you know, quietly type thing, like, if Michaela started talking, type shit, like, you think it's funny, it's not, it's really not, so then she was like, if you really want to have a conversation, and you really want to put this shit to the side, and we ain't got a beef no more, okay, but if it's any jokes and shit, I'm not coming. I'm not wasting my time. That's what Michaela said. So obviously Michaela thought that Laura was there, but Laura wasn't, and Laura was at the gym. So obviously, shockingly, you would have thought it would have been a fight that was gonna pop off. It didn't. Um, y'all know I'm gonna call out the clickbait. So, but it wasn't no clickbait saying they was fighting. So, just saying they didn't fight. So, anyways, then uh, fast forward. So you know how you know Michaela's point. She's like, we can't be civil because you're steady being petty and steady going on and on and on and on and on about a situation that we had in the beginning of this whole thing. And you were steady going on and on about it. I'm just trying to look, get my car, not looking for anything else. Obviously, I still care and I love Michaela and I'm still in love with Michaela. I mean, fuck. Laura. This is Michaela saying this. That's why I say Michaela. So Michaela is saying, I'm still, obviously, I still care about Laura. I still love Laura. And I still am in love with Laura. She told this girl to her face that she's still in love with Laura. So then the girl like, well, I don't know what you can't get in your head, but she's with me now. And, you know, she's always with me. Like, why do you think she got me staying at her house? And all this other stuff, right? So it gets towards closer to the end, right? About 47, 48 minute in. And uh, finally, Michaela was like, you know what? 
uh, for one, you called me over here acting like you was going to actually have a civil conversation with me and get a better understanding so we wouldn't have to keep arguing, keep bickering back and forth. You be petty, I be petty, we be petty type shit. And put all this bullshit to the side. That was bullshit. Um, two, then you try to like try to check me, try to put me in my place, and that's not happening. I'm still gonna tell you at the end of the day, I'm gonna do what I want. I want to, I'm gonna say what I want. So I'm leaving. So she like, okay, bye, like get out. I said what I said. If you ain't getting that through your head, it is what it is. We still gonna bicker back and forth. I'm still gonna be petty type of thing. That was Norelli. So then, mind y'all, you can clearly see when Michaela came in that she had a purse, right? She sat the purse on the couch. Michaela's on the couch talking. Norelli is sitting in a chair in front of Michaela. When Michaela gets up to leave, she grabs her purse and leave. But in the very next clip, Norelli scoots up the chair, goes towards the camera and be like, yeah, so that bitch just left. And in the background where you can see the couch, you see the damn purse. So, it's now a video on there because I guess they looked at the comments. And it says, why Michaela purse was left at my house. So we're going to click on that because that's three minutes and nine seconds and I don't want to make this video mad long. And then the next video I'm going to do is going to be kind of off. But it's going to be the revealing the whole truth about, I guess, me and Michaela, which is 17 minutes long. So we ain't going to watch a whole 17 minute video in this 11 minute video that's kind of 12. So we're just going to watch this one real quick. The why Michaela person Put still left at the house. Door. Fuck, I forgot they had ads. But um, we're going to watch that real quick. Y'all let me know if that's kind of sketch because like for her, I was reading the comments as I was watching because I don't, I really like literally, Norelli's voice is so boring because she like. You're so obsessed. You're still mad. You're still pressed. You still inserting yourself somewhere. You want to be where I'm at. You you want to you want to have the place I'm at. Da -da -da -da. You just want to be where Laura is at. You're so obsessed with Laura. Laura got to do everything for you. You can't do nothing for yourself without Laura. Like literally, straight like that. So it gets boring. So I was I was reading comments as I was watching the video. Then, um, why does ad play? The fact that Michaela's purse got left in the background, it seemed like they played it off like she left, but the whole time, it's kind of sketchy. Like now, people been saying that this has been a prank the entire time, and then you know they came on here trying to be like, this isn't a prank. Like, why would I prank this? Why would I sit on the camera and cry? Or why would I put my business like that, like that? Why would I play it like this? You know, the whole dick. And like I said in one of my episodes, I don't even remember, one of my earlier episodes, that it's people who has played a prank like this, and they played it all the way. They didn't make it as long like this, you know, like video, 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 video every day. But they did make, obviously, a fat chunk of a video for one week, and then the next week they made another fat chunk of a video, and then it turns out it's a whole prank. So people have been doing that, so you can't say, like, we're not going to have that suspense in the back of our ship because this shit is getting dragged. Literally dragged. The shit should have went like this. Y'all should have came on a video. Laura and Michaela should have came on a video. And I get you need content. Whatever. Cool. You could have been doing your shit. She could have been doing her shit. Right? When y'all noticed that y'all was going to tell the internet slash tell your YouTube fan base that you were breaking up, you should have made a video. You don't have to go in exact detail down to the bone, but enough detail to explain what's going on, if that makes sense. Y'all let me know if I'm making sense in the comments. Anyways. Y'all should have made a video. Obviously, there was going to be tear shit. Obviously, there would be a little bit of upsetness at things that would be said or how th how people felt. Of course, that's human. We learn to accept that that is how that is. That's how that works. 
So, that should have been made, right? Obviously, it, mm, Michaela could have made a video, you know, explaining on her part by herself if the video didn't go, you know, how the first video didn't go how it was supposed to go. Cool. Then Laura should have made a video by herself on the same channel because it's still y'all channel. But since y'all broken up, you know, you kind of want to give each other that space. Michaela should have made her video separately. Hey, this is how I feel. Yada, 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 yada. Laura should have made hers. This is how I feel. Yada, 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 yada. That should have been that, right? Then you inserted this whole extra person. So then that's where another drama came in. Because it's like, okay, Laura, you're the one that broke up, right? You, you wanted the break type thing. And then y'all finally admitted that it was a breakup. Cool. Then you turn around and now you're with this girl, right? Fast forward. I ain't even gonna get all that in detail. I'm gonna make a whole nother video again because I already did this part. So then after they would have made their second and third video about the situation, right? They should have... First of all, the first, first video that they put on there should have been talking about the breakup. They should have had a talk. Communication. About how they were going to bring it onto YouTube together without being together. This would have dissolved half of the videos that they had on there. I get content, but there is ways to make content without dragging a situation. Literally dragging a situation. You feel what I'm saying? So, after that, they could have made the whole breakdown not a full complete down to the bone because y'all still got personal business y'all don't want on here and that's fine but you have put enough of your business already on youtube so if you know how willing and how far you're to go on the internet as far as youtube wise i ain't gonna get into the other social media that's as far as you should have went with the breakup if you know you didn't get that much far in detail in your life when y'all were together and this was on the channel together, then you shouldn't go that far with your relationship breakup. But if your relationship and your content that you usually have put on there before the breakup, that should match up. Y'all should be able to explain and give your fan and fans and subscribers, whatever you want to call them, your family, that, you know what I mean? Because they grew up with y'all they grew with y'all they helped y'all grow type of thing you feel what i'm saying so anyways fast forward um just the whole thing with that is just it was as backwards and the fact that it got dragged it made me kind of think hey this might just be a prank it's just really dragged prank it's like really dragged out one so then fast forward a lot of people kept saying like oh this might be a prank and so then they got on here claiming it wasn't a prank and so when people kept saying it was a clout they got on here again this is it for clout so now the whole purse thing. We're gonna get into that because this video is already gonna be like 20 minutes long. Whatever, like I didn't even like speak on that because like at the end of the day that shit was mad childish. But if you do watch the video, y'all are asking. Yo, I'm gonna only speak on this like real quick. Um, so Narali was being really childish the other day and when I was at the gym, she was on some other shit, cool, whatever. Like I didn't even like speak on that. What like, do you mean the, the other day? day that's just childish. But if you do watch the video, y'all are asking why did Michaela's purse still be there? So, like, who, like, what type of question was that, guys? Fucking Narali is petty, and Michaela's only petty when Narali is petty. So Michaela left her fucking purse there so she'd have a reason to come back and talk to me that night. You feel what I'm saying? I was at the gym minding my business. You feel what I'm saying? Narali had no business calling Michaela over, but she did. And like I said, I didn't want to speak on it. But the reason, if you go back to that video right now, go all the way to the end, you will see that Michaela's purse was still on the couch. Y'all are asking why. You get what I'm saying? The reason why, like I just said, Michaela purposely left it there being fucking petty. But she picked she it left up. Her purse there. So that way, Hold later on. on that night, like around. I ain't trying to be like them where they pause every two seconds because we're already 57, 57 seconds in and still three minutes and eight seconds left. But she grabbed her purse. As you see the transition, right? She's like, all right, I'm finna go. Grabs her purse off the couch, gets up to go to the door. Then in the very next clip, 
you see the purse is back on the couch. So did she come back to the damn couch to put her purse back on there just to leave it? Y'all, we finna go back to that video right now. Because I want y'all to see exactly how I'm going to see it. How I seen it. How about that one? Like, even this. Hold on. Fuck. Pepsi's got a low price. That one's way too high. Thanks. Don't care. Why'd you say you were kind of going to be here 20 minutes ago? I'm going to try to see exactly what the fuck I was watching. Yeah, mind y'all, that's her purse right there. Okay, okay, watch, watch, watch. Now watch this, watch this. Grabs purse. Let's be real. Grabs purse. Leaves. Right? That ain't leaving it on the couch. Leaves it, right? Now watch this, y'all. That's what you think, and that's what you think. You but you have a blessed that. time. Okay. And guess what? Like, bless your soul. Now watch this. Just Purse back on the couch. Said, so did she come she back was in the house and leave her purse? So what, what Laura just said was invalid, baby girl. Had to be. Very much invalid. Because y'all seen it just as I seen it. So we're going to go back to the video. All the goddamn ads. Like the pub. You know what I mean? And it's the, it's the ones you can't skip. So we're going to watch this one. I know as this, I said this video wasn't going to be long. But y'all got to watch the receipts with me. Because y'all be thinking the same shit I be thinking. Like, And then they be thinking we dumb. The fuck? Now listen to what she said. Like who like what type of question was that guys? What you mean what? Okay, is petty and Michaela's only petty when Narali is petty. So Michaela left her fucking purse there so she'd have a reason to come back and talk to me that night. You feel what I'm saying? I was at the gym. But how? But how? Y'all seen what I seen, right? That she picked her purse up, put it on her arm. Literally the thumbnail of the video. Literally, I'm sorry we ain't getting through this, y'all, but it's really blowing me at this point. Literally, the thumbnail of the video is her grabbing her purse and them two standing up as if Michaela is going to leave. They think we done. That's what they think. Because y'all getting caught up now. How you didn't notice she came? She came back. Y'all seen she left. She came back and did it. 
Okay. Over the fucking balcony. They're like really fucking And locked the door. Yeah, so yeah, she did leave her purse there on purpose. Yeah. Michaela. Yeah. Hold on one second. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. No, I need you right now. I just need to ask you something. Okay. One second. Can I talk to Yeah. Yeah, what? Okay, so for one, like I didn't want to speak on the situation with you and fucking Norali and why you at my house and why y'all were doing all that. But anyways, I do have a quick question. Um, ah, my throat. Why would you leave your fucking purse there? <sighs> because is somebody else listening to me? Hey, you're on fucking speaker. I'm like literally recording. I was basically telling them, like you already told me, and I'll just explain it to you too. Also, so like I said, Michaela was being fucking petty and left her purse there. Why, Michaela? And if I would have known you left that shit there, I would have threw it over the yeah, motherfucking yeah, balcony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. But I came back and got it, so my point was accomplished. And she like I said, if I would have done it, I would have threw it over the motherfucking balcony. I did not balcony. answer when she came, when like, Michaela fucking came back, like, she called me, like, I left my purse there, I did not answer. But you know what's crazy? What's good? You're crazy. All right, bye. Well, y'all gotta chill. Are they eating the same piece of candy? I just want, you know what I need? You know what I need from them? Clarify that Norelli is your girlfriend. Laura, let me, let me be specific. Laura, clarify that Norelli is your girlfriend. To the channel. It don't gotta be for Michaela's sake. It don't gotta be even for Norelli's sake. You got fans? Do you care about them? Do you love them? Clarify it. Real quick. Let us know what Norelli is to you. I need a video of you either by yourself. I don't even care if Norelli is around. I don't give a fuck. As long as you can speak your mind if Norelli is around. Correct? If you can, she can be there. If not, you need to be in a video by yourself. Um. That's, that's really what I had to say to you. And also... In that video, when you clarify what Norelli is to you, um, also clarify where you stand with Michaela. Again, not for Michaela's sake, not for Norelli's sake, not even for your sake. You care about your fans. You you put all of this on YouTube, on the internet. If you care, you would do it. Um, if it's real, let's 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 add that in there. Cause now, don't fucking know what the fuck was that. But um, that's what I have to say to Laura. Norelli. Dot 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 for you, cause at this point I gotta, I really, I gotta think, and get on your level. Because my level of thinking, your level of thinking, is way two different things, and yours is kind of off for me, babe. Really much, Michaela. Don't keep falling for they trap. Um. But if you are in, obviously you gotta be in if the videos keep going like this, but it seemed like you was keeping it real. It seemed like you are still keeping it real, but if you could make a video clarifying your purse situation and that you came back in the house, um, that would be great. Yeah. Um, Anything else, leave a comment down below uh, if you want to know anything else. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think this is a big-ass prank that's keep getting dragged? Or do y'all think that this is um, real or not? Just let me know down in the comments. If not, you know, like, it is what it is. Um, but y'all, let me know. Let me know something. Let me know something. Because now I'm just confused. Again, like I was in the beginning. Um... If you like this video and you liked how I reacted or you just are interested or whatever the case may be, and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and press that subscribe button for me and join our group gang family, LM Sauce. I love you to bits and pieces. Uh, I love you if you don't and I love you if you do. Um, but just go ahead and join the family. You in you interested, you might as well press the subscribe button. You can always change your mind later. And if you enjoyed the video overall, like, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. 
for me. It's letting me know that you interacting, that's interacting with me, interacting with the bullshit, you feel me? So, you know, just leave a thumbs up for me. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video, I love you very much. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to get more into it. That's, that's what we're going to do. But because I made this video 30 minutes long, we're going we gonna to stop it here. Because if you're just that interested, you'll watch it. Uh, if not, you know, you won't watch it to the end, so you won't know everything. But that's cool. That's cool. Uh, again, as I always say, um, any video receipts you need, hop over to Laura and Michaela's channel. And uh, you'll find everything that I'm finding. That's how I get my receipts. I don't contact neither one of them and, you know, say this, that, and the third. I don't. Um, so, I just, I do the same thing as y'all. Head over to their YouTube channel. I'm not even subscribed. I can clearly, actually, I'm going to show y'all. So, y'all can know. I'm on the fence about it. Let's be real. Literally. Like, let it focus. So, I want y'all to, to know the real. Because I always keep it real. Period. Oh, I'm still on the damn camera. Focus, please. As y'all can see, that red say subscribe. It's blurry, but it's. And then the blue say join. If you can read it, and it's blurry, but I'm not subscribed to them. Uh, if you want to know why I make the videos, uh, why I make the videos that I do, uh, involving them. They are. They were a trending topic when it first started happening. And now they kind of fluctuate in because of how long this part is getting dragged out. But um, when I first discovered them, it was on TikTok. Uh, it was about a prank that either Laura did on Michaela or Michaela did on Laura. And they was like screaming at each other's faces type shit. That was one video that I seen on TikTok. And then like a couple days or weeks later, I seen that they had the, the breakup on one video like a little snippet of it and I was like they broke up like I, I peeped them on my TikTok before you know like a couple days ago whatever so anyways I ended up deciding to make a series because a lot of people you know aren't comfortable with making videos and I am um, I'm a camera baby so uh I just wanted y'all and me we can react together um to get another point of view that from somebody who don't know them and y'all can, you know, let me know you thinking the same way I'm thinking, we think it differently, you think something's right and I think it's wrong, or I'm thinking it's right and y'all think it's wrong, type shit. So yeah, anyways, uh, without further ado, we're gonna get into the next video. I really don't, I really don't know at this point, y'all, but anyways, again, leave a like, comment down below, let me know what y'all think, and as always, follow my socials in the description box, and I love you guys into bits and pieces, and to the next video, bye, y'all.